I think it's really important to make sure we all recognize that there's no one perfect diet for everybody. And so it, at Viome, we're all about personalization. Uh, and that really challenges all of these um, fad diets, things that are trendy and people want to follow that. Uh, and one of the really consistent signals that we get is um, signs of protein met uh, metabolism, protein fermentation by your microbiome in those people that uh, really do a lot of paleo, paleo type diet. And so what happens is uh, our body is supposed to digest the protein, get the amino acids, get everything, absorb it and, and metabolize it. But if we don't do it very well, then undigested protein gets uh, to the lower gut and microbes are working over time digesting that protein. And we can see that by looking at the actual biological pathways that tell us, wow, your microbes are really working hard, uh, processing all the protein more than what we usually see. And that's most of the time it's paleo people. They even, uh, they even write it out that they do paleo diet for, for many years. And uh, what happens is, okay, so microbes are processing protein. What's so bad about that? Well, a lot of times what happens is they have, uh, they produce these harmful byproducts. So especially for those people who have um, these harmful byproducts like ammonia and putrescine, things that may um, disrupt the lining or irritate or, or just make the environment altogether suboptimal for your gut ecosystem. When you have that, then you may want to take some action on it. And so the action, it doesn't have to be necessarily some medications right away, but e even in how you prepare and process your protein and maybe even what time of day and night uh, can make a difference. So for instance, you know, we were all told since we were kids to chew 33 times. Guess what? It helps some people. Actually, real story. So the protein fermentation signs will go down from your gut test. And uh, preparing, chopping, processing your protein, that's another thing. Maybe not eating it at 11 p.m. at night, <laughs> big steak. That's obviously another thing. So it could be something this simple. Um, it could be also from dense sources of protein, sprouting, soaking, um, nuts, seeds, legumes. That also makes the amino acids more uh, available for our digestion and easy to absorb. And um, also for those you know, that do feel a lot of this indigestion, they do have a hard time, uh, there are these um, multi-enzyme digestive enzyme uh, supplements. And for some people, you will see that uh, in your recommendations, but as needed, of course. So there's supplements, there's uh, enzymes and uh, motility agents that help you move things along. So there are different uh, kind of levels of actionability that can be connected to these signs of harmful byproducts of protein fermentation that the microbes are telling us. And that's usually that usually goes with the paleo diet.